Hello everyone. This is World Conspiracy. Are we in the brink of Star Wars battle? The mysterious X-37B plane lands after a two-year secret mission by US military force. This could be the end or the start of a space war? Let's see. The US has landed its experimental X-37B a spacecraft plane in Florida, bringing to an end a two-year mission that is complete secretly. The plane, which can fly itself and looks like a small space shuttle, landed over the weekend at Cape Canaveral, bringing to an end a flight beginning in May 2015. But the US Air Force didn't reveal what it had been doing in the air or why it had come back down. But we suggest and we think that the plane could have been testing a new kind of satellite weapon or conducting surveillance on the enemy countries or it could be conducting a surveillance over the Earth's atmosphere and it can be any artificial intelligence test for an unarmed or unmanned area vehicle in the space. So it can be anything and still the US Army and the military has been secretly maintaining the mission. The X-37B, one of two in Air Force fleet, conducted unspecified experiments for more than 700 days while in orbit. It was the fourth and the lengthiest mission so far for the secretive program managed by the Air Force Rapid Capability Office of US military. The orbit performed risk reduction, experimentation and the concept of operations, development of reusable spacecraft technologies, the Air Force has said without uh, providing any details. The cost of the program is also classified by the US military. The Secure World Foundation, a non-profit group promoting the peaceful exploration of force of space, says the secrecy surrounding the X-37B suggests that the presence of intelligence-related hardware being tested or evaluated abroad the craft. The vehicles are 29 feet long and having a wingspan of 15 feet, making them about one the quarter of the size of National Aeronautics and Space Administration, the NASA, now retired space shuttle. The X-37, also known as the Orbital Testing Vehicle or OTV, first flew in April 2010 and returned after 8 months. The second mission launched in March 2011 and lasted 15 months, while the third took flight in December 2012 and returned after 22 months. The Sunday's landing was X-37B's first in Florida. The three previous landings took place in Vanderburg Air Force Base in California. The Air Force relocated the program in 2014, taking over two of NASA's former shuttle processing hangars. The Air Force intends to launch a fifth X-37B mission from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station, located just south of Kennedy Space Center later this year. So what do you think of this X-37B flyby mission to space? Is it in a brink of any space war or like a Star Wars? Or is testing any new technology or a new weapon or a surveillance for our Earth? Please post your comments below. And if you like this video, give a thumbs up and follow us on social networks and subscribe to our channel. And thanks for watching. This is Vol Conspiracy. Bye.